The topic is African American unity for success. And of course, we have uh, talking about uh, African American unity for success, uh, Pastor Kelvin uh, Walker, who is the pastor of the Hands of God Christian Church. And of course, uh, Reverend Walker, let us uh, pick up the conversation that we uh, left off with, because I think you were talking about uh, some of the things that have, uh, in a real sense, historically, mm -hmm. in a real sense, separated uh, African Americans. And I think that you mentioned what went on during slavery. Right. But I think also you were coming to the point of talking about uh, after slavery, mm -hmm. during the period of Jim Crow, which right. also served. Go on, let's, let's pick that up. Yeah, because, you know, there had to be something in place, Dr. Haney, that was, that would have been used to con control the slave, of mm -hmm. course, and that was that fear and that was that distrust and that was that envy. Mm -hmm. And that thing has kind of perpetuated itself mm -hmm. because Willie Lynch was saying, if you put this thing in place, it will perpetuate itself and you and, and will work for the next 300 years. Good. Now mm -hmm. this 1712, you mm -hmm. look at, are we three, are we four good. years away good. from, 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 uh -huh. <laughs> from the good. fulfillment of that mm -hmm. thing? Or do we escape, is it over then mm -hmm. or what? But the thing is, and then that thing has transcended, you know, mm -hmm. after slavery ended, then you had to go through a period of, of reconstruction and stuff mm -hmm. like that. The old South things were changing and stuff the war was over and everything okay. mm -hmm. and then you had some blacks that were far better off than other blacks okay. so there was a separation that caused mm -hmm. some disunity because now you got uh, the, the blacks that that wasn't uh, you know you had some slave owners that really cared for and took care mm -hmm. of their slaves so when mm -hmm. they left they gave them some things and mm -hmm. stuff like mm -hmm. that and some of those blacks were intelligent enough to start business and start doing some things mm -hmm. and then that created even further perpetuated that mm -hmm. envy and that distrust so okay. now it is now they're saying now since they have already been taught to not trust anybody All black. Right. So now when you got a black person that's got a business, they're not going to trust you mm -hmm. enough to come to your business and patronize your business mm -hmm. and to associate with you. So now you got this further separation that's okay. going on. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, of course, as time goes on, you got the separate but equal. Okay. So now uh -huh. you got segregation going All on. Right. And mm -hmm. then you've got, you know, and, and that's, that system just constantly works. You got the light-skinned blacks against the dark-skinned dark okay. black and the mm -hmm. medium brown and, mm -hmm. the, and the good hair against mm -hmm. the bad, bad hair okay. and the uh -huh. tall against the short. Mm -hmm. And then the, the women had already always been elevated in a mm -hmm. position mm -hmm. over the black man. Mm -hmm. This came from slavery because, okay. you know, the black man was never in, in control of his family. Family, very good. It, it was never his. Mm -hmm. it, it never belonged to him. So that, that whole thing has spread mm -hmm. into our culture even as of today because mm -hmm. black men now, you got a lot of black men that were produced but were not careful for that which they produced. Uh -huh. And I think that came from that mindset that was injected in mm -hmm. us back during those periods of time mm -hmm. that we existed in. So now, Dr. Hainer, we're in a situation Situation, right. Whereas we got uh, black people that are that are going into business that are doing things, mm -hmm. and, and then you've got uh, there's another segment within our within our culture that says I'm not going to support you, and we talk about each other you know, right. as if mm -hmm. you know we'll talk about each other. I, I, I've heard uh, black people say. Uh, negative things about black people as if they wasn't black themselves. All right, you know, uh -huh. and, yeah, I know. And, and Good. that uh -huh. mindset, Dr. Mm -hmm. Haney, needs to be dealt with and needs to be stopped. Mm -hmm. Because how long are we going to continue this, mm -hmm. uh, that particular uh, way of thinking? Because if we continue that, then we're going to always have disunity. Mm -hmm. Nothing will ever come together. Mm -hmm. if, if I'm if I'm jealous and envious of you, Dr. Mm -hmm. Haney, because you know you're doing a TV show, mm -hmm. and, and instead of uh, instead of thanking God that you have positioned yourself or in a position mm -hmm. to do that, then if I'm jealous and envious of you, mm -hmm. then I can never attain to the level that maybe you've attained mm -hmm. to. And, and at the same time, you, you, you won't be willing to pour into me because you can sense that there's an air of jealousy about myself mm -hmm. and envy towards you because mm -hmm. of, of, of your hard work and diligence in getting where you are. You know, uh, it, it, it seems to me that what, what you're saying here is that there are a number of things that uh, keep uh, African Americans from being successful. But uh, the fact is, is that they don't generally understand, nor do they uh, uh, articulate mm -hmm. some of the things that you're talking about now, which Absolutely. is to say that I think that most people would agree, most African Americans would agree that uh, what you're saying basically has a foundation for truth. Right. But now, in terms of that being widespread knowledge, and, and understood exactly uh, the implications, but many mm -hmm. of the many, many people don't understand it. White or black don't understand. Don't understand that. it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and a lot of the thinking is this is just how I am. But mm -hmm. we got to we have to go back and find out why am I thinking like this? Mm -hmm. Why is it that if a, if a black man 
or black woman has a product mm -hmm. and that you won't buy and purchase that product even though it's at the same price mm -hmm. of the other product. And same quality, oftentimes, same, same quality, quality I mean, the same thing. Yeah, uh -huh. the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. And so you got to you got to go back and, and find out why is it that mm -hmm. I won't do that? Mm -hmm. and, and, and to search that thing back and, and whether the Willie Lynch letter is true or whether it's not true, mm -hmm. the, the, the things that... The outcome. Out, yeah, the outcome comes, is definitely that. It's still the same thing. You know, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, this was one of the uh, major themes I think uh, uh, Pastor Walker uh, in the uh, early 1900s mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, African Americans by black this kind of mm -hmm. idea that uh, African Americans yeah. ought to support uh, African Americans uh, right. which is not to say that you ought to exclude other groups absolutely but if you look at other groups in this country a as well you generally find that uh, if they have businesses mm -hmm. uh, 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 whatever they they generally can find patronage yeah. among themselves you see and so and this is one of the things I think that uh, what we're talking about here is that uh, we don't seem to recognize right. that this is uh, a, a product of disunity right and unless we can recognize that this is a product of disunity then uh, there can be no what we call future success right. it, it, and, and Dr. Haney, you look at other cultures, mm -hmm. and, and all the other cultures, they really support themselves. Mm -hmm. they, they support themselves, you know. If, if they got a business, then they support each mm -hmm. other's business. They, they support each other in many different ways. Mm -hmm. Now, people, especially black Americans, we'll have a problem okay. with immigration. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll have a problem with illegal immigration, which mm -hmm. it, that is a problem. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the issue is, what about the legal immigrants that are coming to the land of opportunity, mm -hmm. and we're having a problem with them mm -hmm. on the stores in our communities and stuff like that, that we go and patronize and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they, they have left their country to come into a country mm -hmm. that offers them an opportunity, and we're born in this country and won't take advantage mm -hmm. of the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And then when those of us that are black Americans do take advantage of these opportunities, mm -hmm. afford to us in this land of opportunity, mm -hmm. then there's that everything that goes into play and say, well, I'm not going to buy from them mm -hmm. because their product mm -hmm. is not going to be mm -hmm. any good, even though it's an identical product, product. Mm -hmm. that you can go across town and get it from mm -hmm. uh, whatever other culture that may mm -hmm. happen to be doing that. Mm -hmm. so Very good. And of course, uh, uh, we're getting ready for our second commercial break here. Uh, uh, Pastor Walker, and, and I think that this is essential for what we were trying to achieve here. That yes. is, uh, uh, to get some of this information out in the open. It's something that I think that everybody understands, and everybody, well, they don't, might not understand it, yes. but everybody know about it. Right. But they don't understand the uh, sources of it, yes. and they don't know how uh, damaging uh, that it can have. Yes. And, and, and another thing, uh, we don't have an opportunity to talk about it at this time, but I wish that somebody one day would say something about the, the N-word oh, yes. that is so prevalent yes. among so many many of us and etc. And, and, and of course we'll be back with our audience following this uh, very very short uh, commercial break. The topic is